Beloved and mighty Lord God of mercy and power, we gather in this sacred moment to seek your protection, your light, and your strength. With humble hearts filled with faith, we invoke your name, knowing that you are our refuge and fortress, an ever-present help in times of need. In this prayer, we surrender our lives into your hands, trusting in your unwavering love and infinite goodness. Dear listener, I invite you to join us on this journey of prayer and faith, confident that God hears every plea and responds with a heart full of compassion. Stay with us until the end of this prayer, leave your message in the comments, and share this faith that strengthens us. In Psalm 86, we find profound words of trust in God. The psalmist cries out, Incline your ear, O Lord, and answer me, for I am poor and needy. This is the cry of someone seeking relief, recognizing their fragility and placing themselves before the Creator with faith. Just as David, in his anguish, finds in this psalm a powerful example of prayer, we too can approach the Father with confidence, asking not only for protection, but also for deliverance and grace. May that same confidence now fill your heart as we turn to prayer. Lord God of all creation, we come to you at this moment, asking that your protection cover our lives. Keep us, Lord, as the apple of your eye, hide us under the shadow of your wings. May every person listening to this prayer feel your presence, your powerful hand holding ours, guiding us through difficulties and delivering us from all evil. Just as in Psalm 86, we ask, Preserve my soul, for I am godly, O oh my God, save your servant who trusts in you. Loving Father, we are your children, and we know that in you, we find shelter and security. In moments of darkness, when the weight of trials seems unbearable, we remember that you are our sustainer. Remove all anguish and worry from us, and fill our hearts with the peace that surpasses all understanding. May your light shine in our lives, dispelling every shadow of doubt and fear. Lord, you who are the God of liberation, we now cry out for your divine intervention in our lives. Where there is oppression, bring your freedom. Where there is discouragement, renew our strength. Just as you promised your servants, may every wall that separates us from you be torn down, and may the chains binding us to fear and sadness be broken in Jesus' name. You are our liberator, and we trust in you completely. Heavenly Father, we know that your word is truth, and that your power knows no bounds. Just as David asked in Psalm 86, we too ask you now, show me a sign of your goodness, that those who hate me may see it and be put to shame, for you, O Lord, have helped and comforted me. May your favor be evident in our lives and may your comfort be felt by all who need relief. In your infinite mercy, we ask that you be with those who are suffering. Visit homes where there is pain, loneliness, and despair. Bring comfort to aching hearts and renew the hopes of those who have lost strength. Lord, strengthen the weak and grant wisdom to those facing difficult decisions. May your peace reign in every mind and heart that now seeks you. Dear Father, we thank you for your constant care. You know us deeply, you know our fears and needs, and yet with love, you care for every detail of our lives. We praise you, Lord, because you never forsake us. In every moment of our lives, we know we can count on your presence. Now, Father, we want to lay before you our personal battles. Each person praying now brings their own challenges, their daily struggles, but we know that in you we find strength. We trust that just as you delivered David from his enemies, you are also by our side, 
defending us, delivering us, and empowering us to overcome. Give us, Lord, your discernment and wisdom so that we may walk in your ways faithfully. In this moment of prayer, we also want to pray for our family and friends. Protect those we love, guard them from all evil, and pour out your blessings upon them. May your peace and joy dwell in their hearts. May each home be a place of refuge where your name is glorified and where your love is fully lived. Father, before you, we also place those who feel alone and forsaken at this moment. May they feel your presence in a real and powerful way. Fill them with your love and show them that in you, they are never alone. May your Holy Spirit strengthen them and give them hope, even in the darkest moments. Lord, we also pray for those who are ill. You are the God who heals, and in you, we trust our health. Touch, Lord, with your healing hands those who are suffering from physical or emotional ailments. Restore their bodies, minds, and hearts, and grant them your peace, which transcends all circumstances. Lord, as David did in Psalm 86, we also ask you, teach me your way, O Lord, that I may walk in your truth. Give us obedient hearts willing to follow your commandments so that we may live according to your will and experience the fullness of your blessings. Lord, we praise you for your faithfulness and for your promises that never fail. Even when we face tribulations, we know you are by our side, sustaining us with your grace. You said that in this world we would have tribulations, but we should take heart, for you have overcome the world. May everyone who hears this prayer find courage and strength in you to win their daily battles, knowing that victory is assured for those who trust in your power. Loving Father, we ask that your Holy Spirit dwell in our hearts, guiding us at all times. Grant us wisdom to face difficulties and discernment to make choices that please you. May we, in every decision, reflect your love and justice. Lord, we cry out for unity and peace in our families, communities, and country. Where there is division, may your love bring reconciliation. Where there is hatred, may your peace prevail. May we be instruments of your peace in this world, bringing the message of Christ through our attitudes and words, reflecting the light that comes from you. We thank you, God, because in you we find a safe haven. We know that no weapon forged against us will prosper, for you are our defense. Your word tells us that the Lord is our rock and fortress, whom shall we fear? May we always remember this truth, trusting fully in your protection and living with the assurance that you are in control of all things. Father, before we end this prayer, we ask that you continue working in our hearts. May we leave this prayer renewed in faith, strengthened in spirit, and ready to face any challenges ahead. May your presence remain with us in every step we take. In Jesus' name, we thank you for everything you have already done, and for all that you will still do in our lives. Beloved Lord, God of mercy and power, we gather in this sacred moment, seeking your divine protection, light, and strength. With humble hearts filled with faith, we invoke your name, knowing that you are our refuge and strength, and ever-present help in times of need. In this prayer, we surrender our lives into your hands, trusting in your unwavering love and infinite goodness. Dear friend, as we embark on this journey of prayer and faith, I invite you to join us. Rest assured that God hears every plea and responds with a heart full of compassion. Stay with us until the end of this prayer. Share your thoughts in the comments, and let us strengthen our faith together. 
You, O oh God, are the God of liberation. We now cry out for your divine intervention in our lives. Where there is oppression, bring freedom. Where there is discouragement, renew our strength, just as you promised to your servants. May every wall that separates us from you be torn down, and may the chains binding us to fear and sadness be broken in Jesus' name. You are our liberator, and we trust in you completely. In your infinite mercy, we ask that you be with those who are suffering. Visit homes where pain, loneliness, and despair reside. Bring comfort to aching hearts and renew the hopes of those who have lost strength. Strengthen the weak and grant wisdom to those facing difficult decisions. May your peace reign in every mind and heart that now seeks you. Dear Father, we thank you for your constant care. You know us deeply, our fears and needs, and yet, with love, you care for every detail of our lives. We praise you, Lord, because you never forsake us. In every moment, we know we can count on your presence. Amen.